Hello and thanks for watching Gary Teachers Maths. I'm continuing to go through the Edexcel 2018 GCSE Maths Higher Tier paper. Uh, this is paper two and it's a non it's a calculator paper and we're up to question 17. So this is um, a uh, histogram question. Um, what you have to be aware of when you do histograms is that rather than it being a bar chart, we've got the frequency on the left hand side on the, uh, the vertical axis it's actually frequency density and it's the area which gives the frequency in each group um, so in order to get the frequency for each um, each bar of this what we do is we multiply the class width by the frequency density so i'll just write that up here so the frequency is given by the class width multiplied by the frequency density. Okay, so we can see how this first value has um, been obtained, frequency of four. What we've done is we've multiplied the frequency, density, which is 0 0.8, so 0 0.8, I multiplied it by the width here, which is five. So if I multiply 0 0.8 by five, then we do get four, the value on, on the frequency column. So we have to go through this process to complete this frequency table. So we can see the, uh, the next group, which is five to 15, the width of that is actually 10. If we multiply that by the height of the group, which is 0.4, that gives us the frequency there, which is four. And if we repeat that process for this one, the class width again is 10. And this time we're at a height of 0 0.6, as we can see there, if we were to project that across, we'd be at a height of 0 0.6. So 10 times 0 0.6 gives us six. Repeating that process, we're at, um, the next group has got a width of five, so it's five times, and take the height of that, which is one, and so it's five times one, which is five for that frequency. And the final group, which is 30 to 50, has got a class width of 20, and the height of that group has got a frequency density of 0 0.2 there. So times that by 0 0.2, and we get that there's four, in that final group. So that's the frequency table completed. Um, if we now want to find an estimate of the lower quartile, the first thing that we need to do is work out the, the sum of all the frequencies. So by adding up this column. So four plus four plus six, 14 plus five, 19 plus another four is 23. So we could say, the N, which is the number of pieces of data that we've got, is 23, which is the sum of this frequency column. To, um, to find the position of the lower quartile, so the position, not the actual value, but the position of lower quartile, what we do, we take N, and we add 1 to it, and we divide that by 4. And so if we do that, we've got 23 plus 1 over 4, which is 24 over 4, which is 6. Um, so what that means is we're looking for a position on this, um, this histogram such that there are four pieces of da data below it. So we know that in this first column, which was the, uh, the time taken from 0 to 5 minutes, we know that represents four pieces of data. And we also know that the, um, the time taken between five and 15 minutes is also four. So we know this big area here represents another four pieces of data. If we chop this in half, because the area is what represents the size of the, the data, we chop it in half, actually, this portion is representing 
2. So adding these two regions together makes 6. And we can see that the value there is 10. So that would be the estimate for our value of the lower quartile. So just to repeat that or explain that again, we know the position of the lower quartile is 6. And what that means is we've got six pieces of data that fall below the lower quartile. And we can see there's four in this first group. The second group from five to 15 has got another four in it. So if we split that in two, then we know we've got two of them, or we can estimate, estimate there's two of them there, um, by dropping a line and splitting this group in half. And where it falls is 10. So that's our estimate for the lower quartile. The lower quartile is 10, and it's because it's time and it's measured in minutes, the lower quartile is 10 minutes. I hope that's been helpful to you. If it has, please like our video and subscribe to our channel, Gary Teaches Maths. And for more help of this type, watch our oh, Look at our uh, website, which is bestmathstutors.co.uk. Thanks for watching.